Hi, so in video 1647 we talked about light guides as a way of improving your solar and it was based on work done by the University of Rochester and what they reckon is they got a 50% improvement in output by channeling the light instead of focusing the light onto a solar panel. Now light guides can be found in places like uh, LCD screens which I showed in video 1647 but you can also find them in things like this. This is a Garriston 30 watt lighting panel that had become extremely popular in offices and there's no surprise why. I mean it's really thin, really light and this particular one I think cost about £10 or something so really stupidly cheap and what you'll find in here is exactly the same kind of thing that you find in an LCD screen. Now the technology in here is basically light emitting diodes along the edges along through the light channel, bend it up, diffuse it and spread it all over the place. <laughs> Sometimes a bit like owning a skunk doesn't it? Anyway, that's how they work. They work the same way, incidentally, in LED computer screens. That's a bit of a, a, a chiz, really, because I always thought it meant it had lots of little LEDs all over the computer screen. It doesn't. What it means is that instead of having a cold cathode tube at the back to shine the light, it uses bright white LEDs. So LED TVs and lighting panels have exactly the same technology for distributing the light. The difference being, of course, a lighting panel's a tenner and an LED TV will set you back hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Anyway, let's take this apart and have a look at the inside of it. Okay, so about a million screws, undo them and lift off the metal back and you'll see the kind of things you expect. Right there is a piece of foam to protect everything and these are the wires going to the LEDs. Then we have a super bright white reflective piece of plastic that obviously reflects the light back out again. And this is what we're looking for, this piece of acrylic here. This is your light guide, which is right there. And it's a light guide and diffuser. So that actually is the light guide bit right there. And then this bit is the diffuser. So it's the bit that makes it sort of um, pretty and even all over the place. And here we have the lights themselves. So just a strip of LEDs right there and right there at the bottom and these just join those LEDs up. The thing about LEDs is they work both ways. You put electricity in there, you get light out. You put light in there, you get electricity out. Now this thing here is running on the ambient. It's got about a millivolt or so and if I shine a torch on it, there we go, jumps up to a couple of millivolts or so. So we've got here the potential of a homemade solar panel from an old light fitting. Now all we're really going to do is put the stuff back. We just want it to hit the light guide and shine that light into the LEDs. Look at there it is set up and it's actually producing about 3.7 volts. I'll give you a close up of the meter and just to see if we can see it. Okay, I'm not actually too sure how you, well you can see this but there's a little fan going there. There we go, and it is producing 49 milliamps. <laughs> so about 3.6, 3.7 volts and 50 milliamps. I mean, okay, it's not a lot, but it's certainly better than the poke up the bum with the sharp daffodil when you think about what it is they actually did with this thing. I mean, it's this original thing. We've got the LEDs in there that are really meant for lighting and all we did was remove the frosted panel and suddenly we've got ourselves a solar generator, a solar panel. I thought that was really awesome actually. Um, of course we could improve that. I mean if we put actual solar cells in those strips instead of the LEDs we get a much better result. Remember gallium arsenide solar cells are reportedly 40-45% efficient. If we did something like that then certainly we'd be able to get a good result out of that. And the benefits of this? Well it improves the efficiency by about 50% and so we only need to put in less in the terms of solar cells and so if we put more expensive solar cells in there that have a higher efficiency of course the overall thing is going to be very much cheaper and that's the point we can generate the same electricity very much cheaper from a couple of lumps of plastic instead of solar cells. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because that is a super easy way to make your own solar cell from an old light fitting or equally, like I say, an LED TV would do the, th the job just as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.